I got a penalty for property damage. What did I do? Destroy the, <laughs> the eyes as well. The eyes are just going. He's like, where am I taking this sandwich? <laughs> Where's table six? Am I here? Am I doing a good job? <laughs> what an idiot. Let's give our boss a hug. See if we can... Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Emergency shutdown initiated. Oh my god, they're coming for me. I was just learning to love. <laughs> you can't shut me down now. What is it with his face? What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was wrong with his face? Hello people and welcome to Roboco. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So this game has just come out of early access and is now has its full launch and is a fun robot builder where you then have to complete challenges. There's also a sandbox mode as well alongside a campaign where you work towards a currency called bits by completing challenges and then various other levels unlock. For those that have played Untitled Goose Game before, this will seem quite <laughs> familiar as this dude walks across the screen like an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a little level together here. Um, big shout out to the uh, developer for sponsoring this video. Uh, thank you for the support on the channel. Uh, it really does help me out. But we're going to go ahead and play this together and see what we think. So let's dive into Sandwich Server. Well, that's that guy wants to order a sandwich. That was the woman's face. <laughs> what is with the walking? <laughs> anyway, so yes, this is Roboco. Uh, it's a really fun, sort of cute physics, guess sandboxy sort of game. Uh, so we can construct our robot out of individual parts. Uh, there is actually a tutorial right at the start of the game uh, that you can play that kind of breaks all of this down for you. So you can construct your robots out of these little parts. Um, and do everything. There's lots of joints and motors. It's very complicated. <laughs> There's lots of structures you can add. Uh, different joints, universal joints, CV joints, bubble joints, ball and socket, bearings, hinges, angles. It's just, it's crazy. If you're into designing robots or any kind of, I guess, engineering, this should be right up your street. Really customizable stuff here. Very cool. Um, however, we can also do constructs as well, uh, which is kind of preset pre-made sort of joints and wheels that you can use which is very much up my street so why don't we start off with a base and we're going to see if we can construct um quite a thunderous gentleman i think today so let's go ahead and create the body we'll try and get him to be a little bit taller a little bit chunkier as well a little bit more girth to him i think bring him out a little bit <laughs> He's a wide boy, isn't he? He's a wide boy. Okay, let's come into uh, some cosmetics because there's going to be um, actually let's do the, let's do the wheels first. Yeah, let's find some wheels. So we've got some big ones here. So we have the left wheel. So for the left side, we have robot solid wheels with high friction but bumpy at high RPM. Okay, let's see how this goes. That wheel looks a little bit small, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> for the size of this body. Uh, so this is the left wheel. This is supposed to go on here. Is that making sense? Okay, let's have that on there then. And then we'll put that on the side. And then we need to grab... I'm guessing these are the right wheels now. Uh, right wheel solid, yes. Okay, so we'll put these on the right hand side. And then there we go. So really kind of intuitive snap grid system for piecing all this stuff together. But it just about gets them off the ground. <laughs> Hopefully those don't snap. <laughs> When we come into it. Uh, okay, wonderful. And um, what else do we need? We of course need a head. Uh, it's not going to be complete without a head, is it? Whether do we want a head? I feel like we might just want to design our own face using some of the cosmetics. Let's do that instead. So yeah, I think we'll give him some eyes, of course. Um, we're going to go for a real kind of traumatized look. <laughs> I think. All right, and then can you just have like the tiniest little mouth <laughs> something like that that seems good enough to me i want to move this eye over a little bit though bring them a little bit further over into the middle i'm happy for his face to be a little bit sort of lopsided right <laughs> imagine imagine this robot bringing you a sandwich and um, can we rotate you can give me some little hands maybe on the front i think we're really achieving the vibe of thunderous gentleman Thing. Okay, <laughs> so he's got two little hands. <laughs> that enormous chungus body. What a thunderous dude. Alright, is there anything else we want to add to him? Um, I guess we give him a little heart. Maybe that's just like slightly off to the side as a 
Distinguished. <laughs> Distinguished style is the face. The face is just hilarious. Okay. Um, and how about a little antenna? Maybe this guy's like a prototype. Right, you can have a little antenna there where he's being controlled from. Okay, so you can kind of get the point here. There's <laughs> there's lots of different things you can add onto it. Um, sort of different things, maybe like a little pincer claw as well if you wanted to do that. Um, it's a really fun game. Like I said, if you played uh, Untitled Goose Game and sort of get the general vibe of that sort of silliness, then you're probably going to enjoy this. Uh, but either way, we can now um, we can now go right. So we need to deliver a sandwich to the guest at table six. That's that guy over there. Where we need to deliver it without touching the table, and then deliver the sandwich up right on the plate. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this guy is so thick. All right, let's. We need to drive under here, and then the sandwich drops on us. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the sandwich is on the plate. I think just about. Here we go. We've run the waitress over. Oh, I'm destroy <laughs> destroying the whole restaurant. I'm sorry, I stole someone's coffee on the way. Wasn't my intention. I'm a prototype. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I got just I got a penalty for property damage. What did I do? Destroy the, <laughs> the eyes as well. The eyes are just going. He's like, where am I taking this sandwich? <laughs> Where's table six? Am I here? Am I doing a good job? <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, he might be a little bit too thunderous. Can we deliver the sandwich regardless? I'm trying to use the momentum of the robot to deliver the sandwich to the table, but that other table is now in the way. There we go. There's your sandwich, sir. Th that's it. That counts. Oh, come on. The toothpick is on there, right? <laughs> the, the sandwich is on his table. Could you imagine being this guy? <laughs> and then this robot rolls through the restaurant, destroys everyone's setup, and then he's like, Would you like any sauce or condiments, sir? <laughs> then just reverses away and then leaves. Okay, let's try that again. Um, we need to reduce the size of. Uh, we need a name for him, I guess. How about Chumpkins? I think I could get on board with Chumpkins, I think. And then we can use this translate tool here to move them up and down. It's a really kind of intuitive sort of construction system. I um, imagine a lot of people are going to have a pretty substantial amount of fun with this one. Bring this down again as well. Okay, is that everyone alright? We need to move his antenna as well. So we can bring that over a little bit. And then also uh, his hat. Okay. Oh, his hands as well. Let's not forget his hands. Let's bring those in. It would be impossible <laughs> to deliver sandwiches. It looks like he's trying to give you a hug. Like he's the prototype of a first hug robot. With that expressionless face. Can we maybe add some eyebrows on? So he has like a little bit of expression. Decoration of mouth perhaps. I guess that's who we could give him. Oh god, it really zooms in when you place an item. How about we give him a couple of eyebrows. And then we delete this one. And then we'll give him like a little... Kind of like shocked face. <laughs> now he's like, ooh, that's a nice sandwich. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, this very much tickles my sort of stupid humor bone, everyone. Right, let's collect the sandwich. There we go. Okay, I mean, the sandwich bounces of its own accord. Maybe I need to be slightly taller. Well, the sandwich is off the plate already. Okay, I can see why it's bumpy at high speeds. There's your sandwich, sir. There we go. Confetti. Wonderful. Go check out some of the other customers. Do you guys want anything? You okay? Can we get his face in the shot? <laughs> Would you guys like to order any sandwiches today? <laughs> They're like, no. We'll leave it, thanks. We just saw you deliver the other sandwich. Tremendous. Wonderful. Let's give our boss a hug. If we can. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Emergency shutdown initiated. Oh my god, they're coming for me. I was just learning to love. <laughs> you can't shut me down now. What is it with his face? What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was wrong with his face? Okay, alright, so they shut us down due to um, us turning into something of a Terminator. A little bit of Skynet vibes coming in, perhaps. Um, okay, so I guess we'll. Complete this challenge again, and then move on to the next one. Let's go ahead and drop this sandwich off again. Here you go, sir. 
There you go. <laughs> There's your sandwich. Cool. So we can complete that. We didn't do it without touching the table, of course, but I think that's all part of the humor, isn't it? So let's go ahead and continue with, <laughs> with Chumpkins. The thunderous robot. The next one will be Robo Repairs, and um, there's several different things to do here in order to unlock more bits to get to the next levels. So there's a few different challenges, so let's try the first one, which is the center of mass. The robot falls over before it reaches the goal. Um, balance the robot to fix it. Okay, let's see what this is all about then. So we can enter live mode to test this robot. Okay. Oh dear. Observe the robot's behavior. The robot falls over before it reaches the goal. Balance the robot to fix it. Okay, so he just tilts back, doesn't he? So it seems that we can move this centerpiece around. It's just a case of moving this down. Oh, yeah, okay, that was it. Okay, so we don't actually add buildings onto this robot during these little tasks. We just fix what's wrong with them. Okay, that's pretty well. That one was really easy. Let's go ahead and check out another one then. Uh, center of mass wonderful. So the robot can't drive through the goal. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try to fix it. This sounds like it's going to be complicated for me, but of course we'll find out together. Okay, so let's see what's wrong with it. So its motors just can't keep up with the treadmill. Okay, that seems fair enough. So we have properties where we can configure the motors parts. So I guess we just want to increase the RPM. Should we go for 165 on each one? Is that going to work? I have absolutely no idea about RPMs. I am not. I don't even know what this would fall under. Is this civil engineer stuff? Mechanic? I'm not entirely sure. All right, but let's change the RPM. Hey, that does it. There we go. We're learning everyone. Get over the line, dude. There we go. Very nice. Fantastic. Uh, there is also a bunch of robots you can download off of the Steam Workshop as well. Yeah, alongside sharing your own creations, so if you're into that, then you can. Uh, let's do one more here together, so we'll do the robot can't lift the weight, make the robot's motor muscles more powerful. Okay, let's do this again as well. Do let me know if you guys would like to see more of this game as well on episodes, we can definitely uh, hang out here occasionally and have some fun together if you're enjoying it. I love the little like hazmat suit guys <laughs> out here watching okay so look at this robot it's actually got a little body on and everything so really super customizable almost like roblox in a way really uh with okay let's see what's wrong with him okay he just can't hold the weight okay then uh resize the robot's motor muscles to be strong enough okay is that these yes it is when we come up, let's make them three by three. Or three by three by three. There we go, and that worked. Very nice. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> this is also quite fun. Fun little puzzle games. Okay, so I did say that would be one more, but this is kind of super addictive. <laughs> so let's do another one here together. Uh, so we can do the flip motor direction. The robot spins in circles and doesn't drive straight. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try and fix it. Okay. So this is actually a really sort of cool way of um, just getting you familiar with all the different motor. Because there is like three different types of motor and then there's all the hinges, different bits. It's very complicated. <laughs> okay, so this one is a big robot. There's a worm on it and a rabbit and a clock. Is this a reference to something? This seems like it is. Alice in Wonderland maybe? There's the Queen of Hearts here as well. Anyway, what's wrong with it? So the robot's behavior, it spins around. Okay, look for what's wrong with the motors and then fix them. Okay, is, oh, did I just flip that? What happens if we flip them on either side? This isn't gonna work, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not going to, but we'll find out. Nope, that just rotates it the other way. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. There we go, one rotated to the other and then the other one rotates the other way, fantastic. There we go. You guys are really enjoying it in the background there. <laughs> They're like, yes, please. Cool. So we got the little flirt moving. Oh, so we did unlock a new challenge. Um, should we do one more challenge together? And then we can leave the repairs for another time. I think that sounds like a good idea. So we'll do uh, Pinata's Peril. Uh, we had to break the Pinata without touching the blindfolded human. Uh, we had to destroy the whole Pinata on the first hit. Break the Pinata whilst it's high up. Are our objectives. Okay. So I'm assuming we're going to need something sharp attached to the robot to actually destroy the pinata. 
I'm gonna find out together here. Okay, so this person's here is pulling it up and down. We have to destroy it while it's high up if we want the bonus. Alright. <laughs> Let's see if we could do this. We'll try and not upset anyone this time. No promises though. Oh, did we not keep Jumpkins, the thunderous boy? Oh no, maybe I should have saved him. Oh well, we can just make a new one. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and create a base and um, we'll use a medium cube this time. And I think this boy is going to want to be quite you know, sort of a distinguished gentleman, I think is the, the phrase we're after here. So I think we're quite tall and narrow, um, especially if we need to hit the pinata while it's high up. There we go, something like that. Cool, let's give him some wheels. Uh, we'll go for like hilariously small wheels, I think. Um, so why don't we have a little look. So we've got left wheel, tiny. Let's see if we can do this. Did I just place that one there? Cool, yeah, that should just about keep him off the ground, I think. <laughs> Adding in these really tiny wheels. Does he even drive? No, he doesn't. That's because I put left wheels on all sides, though, isn't it? You idiot. Okay, so we need to actually delete these wheels first. You do have a little sort of click and drag system, which is quite handy for deleting stuff. Uh, yes, and then we want the right wheels here, don't we? So the motors are correct. Okay, I was... Ooh. <laughs> okay, he doesn't make it very far. Maybe he's too tall, or if anything, too shallow. That definitely isn't going to work. Um, Can we just reposition you, please? Okay, so we can at least drive. That's great news. <laughs> we can at least drive. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on some more uh, cosmetics. Should we go for an actual head this time? Um, maybe... Oh, well, there you go. Yes, if we're going for a distinguished gentleman, then the, the butler face has to be here, doesn't it? Going for right there. Okay, um, and then is there any... I guess we need a power joint. Like, what are we going to hit the... Factors? Pincer claw? Power joint? I don't know. I need something to hit the pinata with, right? Um, maybe we can do something from here instead. Oh, we've got lots of whole bunch of new powered stuff. A button that senses if and how much it is pressed, okay? So we've got a whole lot of new sensors. We've got a text screen and a programmable brain for your robot in a microcontroller. Oh my god. So you can get some really insane customization here. Okay, anyway, let's just see what happens if we do this. We're gonna drive in. <laughs> Imagine this robot, your birthday party. Actually, you know what? No, he's not ready. He isn't ready. He has um he has no hands. And that's the most important bit of any robot, really, isn't it? Do we have any other hands? We could do like a Captain Hook sort of vibe, wouldn't we? Maybe can we rotate these? Do it again. Let's place in another one. Okay. So Captain Hook. Yeah, this, <laughs> this little moustache. Alright, let's go. So without touching the blindfolded human. On the first hit. Well, this is like really slow. In fact, I'm not even tall enough to hit it. Oh. Sorry. Oh, she fell over. I can't even reach your pinata. <laughs> I don't know how we destroy this one. Back to the drawing board, everyone. Okay, so I might have the option here. So under mechanical we have a, a propeller which we can spin by using a motor. With that in mind, I think it would be a good idea to perhaps delete his face. Let's make him a little bit taller. I might have to put some larger wheels on him. So, <laughs> yeah, it is super unstable, but it's hilarious. So let's come in with some powered stuff. We're going to grab a motor. Um, okay, can we have it here? Let's have it right on the top, and then we'll have that mechanical... We need a rod first of all, I think. Yeah, let's put the rod in the motor. Let's extend the rod up. No, he's already too tall now. Okay, let's bring the body down a little bit then. Let's make the motor a little bit wider. Then we'll have that there. Let's put the rod back into the motor, which is fine. And then can we attach the propeller to it, I wonder. That's it, can we increase the size of the propeller um, if we come in to resize it? 
No, the propeller would seem to be a set size. Okay. So let's see if the propeller will break the pinata. <laughs> oh wait, you know, no, he has no face, he has no face. We'll again go for the insane <laughs> googly eye robot. It looks like Talby from South Park. All right, let's see if we can break the pinata. To break the pinata while it's high up, you must need to use a piston for that. I have no idea how we do that. This propeller is not going to break, is it? I think we need to actually increase the sort of run of the motor. What does that do? We do it at 719 RPM. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like a helicopter. This is dangerous. Here comes the pinata breaking robot, everyone. First of its type, revolutionary design. <laughs> it's basically a wardrobe with a propeller on top of it. Is this going to work? I don't want to hit the human. If anything, she also needs to have an objective not to hit me. We did it! We did it! We did one of the objectives anyway. And there it is. There's the party robot. <laughs> the life of the party. That guy over there on the bench really enjoyed it. He's having the time of his life over there. This guy over on the left here though. <laughs> He's absolutely mortified at the, at the pinata. Okay. What the hell's happening over here? Wait, does he have a little little button there that we can press to drop him into the water? Oh, I really want to do that. <laughs> I really want to do that psychotic robot. He's like, I'll get you one day, Mr. Green Man in the green t-shirt. You can see him sat up there and he thinks he's Rod Stewart. We're stuck in a, in a rope. Coming through. Oh, this robot has a horrendous turning circle. <laughs> it does not go very far. Anyway, we'll go ahead and take a soda. I wonder if we actually can take a soda with the pincer. I'm not entirely sure. Oh dear. Breaking the balloons. Okay, we're done with, we're done with this one anyway. <laughs> we, we, need to, we need to move on. And then that brings us back to the main menu. So otherwise guys, I hope you enjoyed kind of our little showcase look at Roboco here. Um, it's a really fun game. Definitely lots of kind of like physics based engineering puzzles to solve. Uh, it reminds me a lot of kind of Untitled Goose game. That kind of like unadulterated fun that's just a little bit ridiculous and we'll have you laughing a really fun game to play i'll leave it linked down on the steam page if you want to come and check it out it has been in early access for a long time but has now released fully so you can come ahead and pick it up and keep up to date with it if you want there's discords and communities and steam workshop around this game so definitely a lot more to be had with it if you want to get into it big shout out to the devs again uh, for sponsoring the video it really helps uh, support the channel and allows me to keep making videos for you guys but otherwise let me know what you think of Roboco down in the comments below but i will shut up and i will leave it there i'd like to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day